Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the women's strawy bout between Kanako Murata versus Vanessa Demopoulos. And how I feel about this one right here is I'm going low confidence Kanako Murata to beat Vanessa Demopoulos. And yeah, I really wouldn't want um, Vanessa Demopoulos to be a dog here or want my dog here or one of my dogs or whatever it may be. But um, when I look at her, she's 35 years old versus like a 29-year-old Murata. And really, the real reason I would lean Demopolis, like low confidence, I'm going Kanaka Murata. So I'm not picking Demopolis. If she wins, she wins. She loses, she loses. But, you know, it's more so Murata. Murata wins, I win. Murata loses, I lose. But um, low confidence, so I'm really not putting any money on Murata as a favorite at all. Prop probably would be, I might bet on, would be Demopolis sub or Demopolis armbar. Or maybe the mob is in distant price sub or arm bar. That's probably the ones I would be more gearing towards. But um, yeah. I just think um, well, I think probably would be in this because her last fight she did get arm bar, but she didn't fight in the end via arm bar. It ended via like a TKO because she continued fighting with a broken arm basically. So yeah, maybe should do um just in the disc because you never know that your arm bar might not go through or your submission might not go through because she'll probably try to tough it through and walk around with a dangling arm. But yeah, we don't know. But, um, yeah, Murata, she's the younger fighter. She has more upside to her right now. And Demopolis is kind of like that. She wins, loses like three times, wins and like stuff like very consistent. M the much older fighter by like six years. And this has proven not to be that high level of fighter. I don't think Murata's that high level fighter, but I think she should be to get past her and at least have a little bit of a decent career or a little okay career. You'll see, probably get like two more, three years in her UFC career for she gets dog walked by every other woman in his weight class and cut, but um, maybe two years. I ain't saying three years. Maybe two years. Well, maybe three years. She might sit out with some injuries, so three years probably. But um, yeah, I think um, it's really the armbar that's kind of you no know, big concerning, and you know, Murata is a wrestler, so she will likely take look to take it to the ground even if she's having good success on the feet. It will look to probably go for a takedown at the slightest bit of danger or the opening of a takedown or just instinctually go for a takedown. And she is very open for arm bars and Demopolis is that's one of her matter of fact that's Demopolis' favorite submission. So you know the writing is kind of in the water or on the wall. But I can't think Murata won't um have been spent this time out after getting arm barred in her last fight and not been working on arm bar defense. I can't dig it. But these are low level fighters, so they do have a low low level mindset, so or low level IQ and all those things. So it's a concern, but I think Murata should be able to land, be faster, land the heavier shots, and mix the takedowns. And probably look to pass the half guard to kind of neutralize the arm bar. Or, you know, be able to follow her hips pretty well and neutralize the arm bar. Or, you know, just mix the things up a little bit better. But I think Murata wins a close decision. I do think she gets close, almost, you know, she's gonna, I think she'll have a close couple, uh, I think she's going to have a close, a couple close calls. I think she will have a couple close calls from Demopolis on the arm bar, but... I think she better neutralize it. I think she better land heavy elbows from, in, from the um, guard. And again, probably pass the half guard and start dropping more elbows. And they just really look weird down on her and beat her in decision of victory. But a very close, ugly fight. But I got Kanako Murata here. So in this one, I got Kanako Murata via decision.